When you're on a diet, hunger is in your face all day long. It's so annoying. But here's how you can outsmart hunger with Weight Watchers. Online, you'll find the tools to make healthier, happier choices. Hey guys, it's Ray at our voiceoverguide.com. One of the throw out a quick tutorial. Have a few different requests coming on some of the videos and the threads uh, about the color and the look and feel of Adobe Audition 3.0. Uh, really quick, and instead of responding to every single one that I've been getting, I want to go ahead and throw together this quick tutorial on preferences. If you haven't been there yet, and usually uh, if, you, if you're not using it, uh, you don't go to it, and it just sits there uh, by itself. So real quick, uh, in the multi-track view right here, if you go up to Edit, go all the way down to Preferences, this is where you're going to find uh, a lot of different things that you can mess around with. Uh, some I would leave just as is, especially if you don't know much about uh, recording uh, or the, the the digital audio workstation. Uh, here's your general tab. Things like force spacebar to always trigger play. Uh, now you may be set up through another mixer where you don't want to do that. Uh, I'll tell you, for instance, one of the hotkeys that I usually have is F10 programmed here, and I disable that because um, that also is the uh, stop record uh, on my capture program when I'm putting these tutorials together. So. Uh, these are some of those things here you want to look for and just see what maybe applies to you. Pop-up menu, uh, extended selections, uh, the fade curve line. Is it linear or is it uh, S-curve? Um, one of the things you want to check here, uh, and you can make those adjustments right here. System, same thing. Uh, your cache size, this is where you're able to do your levels of undo. Uh, if you like it to be, uh, you want to be able to control Z five times, or you want to go back maybe one, uh, 20 times. Now it's going to be a larger space that you need to hold more memory you need. Uh, but if you want to go ahead and backspace or correct edits that you've made up to 20, 30 times, you can do that right here. Here's your temporary folders where all your temporary files are listed. If you're going to put a sep secondary temporary in here, um, may I suggest that you do it in an external hard drive. It does take up quite a bit of memory and you want to go ahead and keep your, um, your hard drive in your laptop or your, uh, your CPU uh, is, is free from you know large files as possible. It's quicker uh, and it, you'll thank yourself a lot later. The default uh, file filter when opening WAV files, uh, you can check that here and see what your uh, options are as far as is a DVI, ACM, uh, Microsoft. Uh, you make those changes there as well. Uh, Auto save for recovery uh, if you'd like. And then we'll go on to probably the most requested piece in some of the videos is how do you change a color? How do you do this? How do you do that? Uh, real quick, waveform, uh, foreground, and background uh, right here. Um, I'll give you an idea. If you go ahead and change this, change the color, you can change it to anything you want. Say red. Click OK. This is what it'll look like. So if you hit OK and go to open this up in edit view, you'll see the red here. And it's a nice contrast when you're trying to look for stuff and say you open it up and you're looking for those little minute pieces. Those are real, real important. So you have that. Um, go back to the preferences again. You can change everything from your waveform background. If you didn't like that black and you want it to be white on red uh, or you know yellow, whatever you happen to uh, like, you can change everything. Boundary lines, center lines, start marker, end marker, grid lines. Your selection highlight tool, uh, cursor, I mean everything in here. And they have some, uh, they have it already set up for you. What you can do is go to your color presets. And there's some really nice schemes right here. The Adobe Gray, uh, Arctic Freeze, Easy on the Eyes, Midnight Blues. These are all kind of presets with all of these in here set to something that complements that particular preset. So um, kind of fun. One of the things that you want to also look for, if you if you remember some of the Cool Edit Pro has this gray background, uh, darker if you're familiar with more of the rest of the Adobe line. But you can change that here as well, uh, just by this UI brightness. If you take this as you slowly go, you'll see it change around. To usually that's about normal uh, in the 50 ranges where Adobe comes kind of preset all the way to really, really lighter. Uh, if you like it like this. And depending on your studio, where you're mixing at, if you want that light bright, that's what it is. I'll tell you what, um, just for the tutorials, I've made them this dark just because I think the contrast is good. You can see everything a little bit better that way. Uh, and then that's about it. 
uh, display. Again, this is a new resolution, uh, the, the width, decibel range, everything you can change in here. Uh, if those apply to you, this is where you'd make that. Uh, data, same thing here, how you're saving, how you're interpreting um, uh, bits, uh, downsampling, upsampling, everything you need to know is right here. Multi-track, same thing. Again, if you don't know what these are, leave them as is. That's what I do. Uh, there's nothing I need to change in here um, for the most part that doesn't already apply to something I'm working on. Uh, if you're doing video, this is where you'd change your uh, settings for video, uh, encoding, input and output. And uh, for me, I don't, I don't use this, so I don't mess with it. <laughs> and external controllers, um, if you're trying to rewire product um, and you can't get your your uh, piece of equipment uh, or external controller to work. This is where you'd go to preferences here, the external controller here. Once you plug in, you'll be able to configure what your ex external controller device would happen to be. Uh, easy bus, Mackie control, uh, what have you. And then you'll be able to go ahead and uh, do the volume increment um, here as well. And that's about it. So again, I wanted to basically just go over the, the, the color piece here because I get that question quite a bit, but figured I'd just go through the rest of them real quick. Uh, and a lot of them will go through in depth in other tutorials uh, as uh, we have requests to do so. So uh, that was it real quick, probably the fastest tutorial here from our voiceoverguide.com. If you have any voiceover needs, commercial or DJ production needs, come check us out at www.ourvoiceoverguide.com. We'll see you soon.